Yeah, we're gonna pull right into the spot, eh? Sorry? Right into the spot. Yeah, I just, uh, I couldn't see behind because of this totally covering the glass. <laughs> oh, I see. Excellent. There's the receptacle ready to go. Tested and live for 240 and grounded. You okay, Dave? Yeah, that's pretty good. Right, right about where you normally have it, anyways. You're a little close to the wall, but that's all right. It's too tight for me to bring it into the garage. Well, let's give it a whirl. So I open the. Uh... Yep, let's plug it in and we're going to test it now. Okay. Not there. Oh, okay. So if after one and a half minute it was still open, then it gets locked. All right. Let's give it a whirl. Good. Be careful with the cord too. You don't scratch your car. That's it. Right around the side. And you should be able to plug it in right in the, the, the new white receptacle right there on the wall. Everything is good? Yep. Push it in all the way. Good. That looks good. Is it green here? Yep. It's green. Is it green? The color it's supposed to be? Yeah. All right. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go downstairs now. Okay. I'm gonna give it a load test. Okay. Try to leave it like this, huh? Sure. Okay. Yeah. Make sure it's running. It's charging. It's charging whatever. It says that it's charging inside. Green lights charging. Okay. Then we'll show you how we ran this line as well. I can get used to these things myself. This was ran all the way through. Well, there's the main service panel actually right there, but that's loaded up. This was ran all the way through this finished basement, miraculously. All the way along. Fished through this ductwork up top along the steel I-beam and through to the furnace room. And then it went through this false ceiling and then out to the garage right up in there. And all the way back along. So it went all the way up along this side beam and essentially comes into this here 100 amp sub panel right there. Now I'm going to give it a load test. Bottom right. Okay, 38, 39, yep, yeah, 40 amps. That's right, okay, so we'll be changing this breaker to 50 then probably. It's right at its limitations. 
but I believe for this you're allowed to have that breaker on 100% of the load. Nonetheless, it's 50 amp uh, in 60 amp line. Well, it's holding on 40 amp breaker. And the service is so badly loaded up. There she's running. And you're going to have the same reading on the hot leg or the black leg as well. Okay, I think that's good. Alright. Bye for now.